Unit 1. Greeting. Dialogue. What do you do? Hello, Mary. Hi, John. How's it going? Pretty good. How about you? Busy. I've been working a lot these days. What do you do? I'm a nurse. That's interesting. Where do you work? I work at the city hospital. Do you like your job? I love it. What do you do? Not much these days. I'm looking for a job. What kind of job are you looking for? I'd like to work as a computer programmer. Well, good luck. Thanks. What are you doing? Dialogue. Hi, Nancy. What are you doing? I'm sending an email to a friend. Do you use email often? Every day. How about you? Me too. I also surf the net for news and sports. The internet is great, isn't it? It sure is. Hey, Nancy, would you do me a favor? I want to check my email, too. No problem. I'll be finished in about five minutes. Thanks. Where are you from? Dialogue. Hello, I'm Mike Quinlan. Nice to meet you, Mike. My name is Sally Stewart. It's a pleasure. Where are you from? I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. How about you? I'm from Vancouver, Canada. What are you doing in the United States? I'm traveling on business. What should I say? Dialogue. I'm a little nervous about meeting Cynthia tonight. Who is Cynthia? She is my blind date. Oh, I can see why you might be nervous. Yeah, I want to make a good first impression. Any advice? Just be yourself and try to be polite. But how should I start the conversation? What should I say? Ask her about her job and her interests. Short conversations. You will hear two dialogues. Listen carefully. Dialogue 1. Hi, I'm Wendy. I'll be your waitress today. Can I get you something to drink? Yes, three coffees, please. Three? Yeah, my friends should be here any minute. Okay, I see. Three coffees then. Anything to eat? No, nothing to eat. Just the coffees, please. Okay. Three coffees coming up. Milk and sugar? Hmm. I'm not sure. Could you bring some on the side? Sure thing. Thank you. Dialogue 2 Hello. Speedy Deliveries, this is Jason speaking. Hi, this is Margaret from Comtex. I have a question. How long would it take to ship a large box to Singapore? Our Asian connections have just been improved. Now shipments to Singapore only take three weeks. Great. And how much would that cost? Let's see. That would be $120 per 100 pounds. Not bad. So if the shipment leaves today, it will arrive in three weeks? That's right. Unit 2. Family. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Dialogue. So, where are you from? 
I was born in California, but I live in Seattle. Can I ask you about your family? Sure. Why not? Okay. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yeah, I have an older brother and a younger sister. How old are they? My brother's thirty-three, and my sister's twelve. I see. And which year were you born? In nineteen ninety-one. How about you? I was born in nineteen ninety-one too. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Nope. I'm an only child. When is your birthday? March thirty-first. When's yours? June eleventh. You're three months older than me. How large is your family? Dialogue. Hey Linda, how large is your family? I have a big family. There are seven of us. Wow, how many brothers do you have? Two. How large is your family? There are four of us. Do you have a brother or a sister? A brother. He's younger than I am. Do you get along with him? Yeah, but sometimes I wish I was an only child. When is your birthday? Dialogue. Hi, Sue. What are you doing? Hey, David. I'm making a birthday card. Who's it for? My sister. When is her birthday? It's the day after tomorrow. How old is she going to be? She'll be twelve. How come you never make me a birthday card? Well, when is your birthday? On February twenty-eighth. Okay, I'll make you a card next year. Are you the oldest? Dialogue. Leslie, do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I have three brothers and two sisters. That's a big family. Are you the oldest? Well, I'm the oldest girl. How large is your family? There are five of us. It sounds like you have brothers or sisters too. Right. I have an older sister and a younger brother. Oh, so you're the middle child. Yep, I'm right in the middle. Short conversations. You will hear two dialogues. Listen carefully. Dialogue one. First, I'll need some information about your family. Okay. What would you like to know? How many people are in your family? There are six of us. All right. And do you have any brothers or sisters? I have two older brothers and a younger sister. Okay. How old are they? My brothers are twenty-six and twenty-eight, and my sister sixteen. Great. Now, how old are you? I'm twenty. Dialogue two. Hello, is Tally Pentler there? This is she. I'm from Timco, and we're taking a poll. I see. What are you asking about? We're collecting information about families. How large is yours? There are seven of us. We have five children. Great. And how old are your children, please? Unit three, school. What do you need? Dialogue. Excuse me, can you help me out? Sure. What do you need? Thanks. I'm a new student here, and I can't find my classroom. What class are you looking for? Math. It's in room one o two. Where is that? 
Hey, we're in the same class. We can go together. Thanks. Oh, I'm Lynn. Hi, I'm Lee. Nice to meet you. By the way, how long does math class last? Every class lasts fifty minutes. Then we have a ten-minute break. Are you in any clubs? I'm on the soccer team and in the school band. Oh, I'm in the band too. Um, when do we practice? Practice starts at three thirty in the auditorium and lasts until five. Where's the auditorium? I'll show you later. Oh, hey, we'd better get to class. It starts in five minutes. What time do you eat lunch? Dialogue. I can't believe it's the first day of school again. I know. Summer went by so quickly. How's your schedule for this semester? Let's see. First period is chemistry, then history, then music. What time do you have lunch? My lunch is from eleven o'clock to twelve o'clock. How about you? What are you taking? I'm taking geometry, physics, English, French, and my lunch is at noon. What time is your English class? My schedule says it starts at one o'clock. The teacher is Mr. Brown. Uh oh, I've heard that Mr. Brown gives really difficult tests and lots of homework. You're kidding. I think I'm ready for summer vacation already. How often do you practice? Dialogue. Hey, Mike. I haven't seen you in a while. How have you been? Oh, hey, Gina. I've been really busy lately. Really? What's going on? I'm in the orchestra, and we have a big concert next week. You must be practicing hard. How often do you practice? I have practice every day until eight o'clock, so I don't get home until almost nine. So that's why you look so tired. Yeah, and I have to wake up at five thirty for swimming practice. Wow! So when do you have time to study? Can you help me out? Dialogue. Hey, can you help me out? Sure. What do you need? Could you help me carry this equipment to the baseball field? No problem. It looks pretty heavy. By the way, how's the baseball team doing? We're doing pretty well this year. We won our first three games. Hey, that's really good. I wish our basketball team would win for a change. What do you mean? We're terrible. We've lost every single game this year. Okay, we're here. Can you put the bag down on the ground over there? Sure. Well, good luck with the game on Saturday. Thanks. You too. Short conversations. You will hear two dialogues. Listen carefully. Dialogue one. Tim, could you come here for a second? Yes, Mrs. Phillips. I'd like to talk to you about your grade in this class. I know I'm not doing very well, but you haven't done your homework this week, and you look very tired in class. I'm sorry. I've been studying late at night, so I'm a little tired in the morning. You should start getting more sleep. I want you to concentrate in my class. Yes, ma'am. I'll do my best. Dialogue two. Jason, can I borrow your eraser? Sure. Here, you can keep it. Thanks. How did you do on the test last week? Not so good. Think I failed it. Why? Didn't you study? Of course I did. I studied for about an hour. Only an hour? You'd better get it together and work harder. The semester ends soon. I know. It ends next month.
Then summer vacation starts. By the way, did you write your essay? Essay? We have an essay? When is it due? Are you kidding? It's due today. Unit 4 Food How did you make it? Dialogue Mmm, Jennifer, that dinner was delicious. Thank you. Can I get you some coffee? Thanks, but I prefer tea. No problem. So the chicken was okay? It wasn't too salty? No, it was great. I liked the sauce you cooked it in. How did you make it? I used some sesame oil and a little soy sauce. Oh, I see. Here's your tea and some cake for dessert. Wow, this cake is fantastic. What's it made of? It's made of flour, sugar, eggs, and dark chocolate. Mmm, it's really sweet. You're a super cook, Jennifer. I have a sweet tooth. Dialogue. Hey, Claudia, I bought you something. Really? What is it? Here you are. It's a box of chocolates. Thanks, Abraham. You know I have a sweet tooth. You really shouldn't have. It's my pleasure. Bob told me about your sweet tooth. It's terrible, really. I eat too much sugar. Here, would you like one? No, thanks. I don't care for sweet things. Yum! These are really delicious. What are you going to have? Dialogue. I think I'll have a T-bone steak. What are you going to have? Mmm, that looks good. But I'd rather have the flank steak. Okay. One T-bone and one flank. How would you like yours cooked? Well done is good. I'll have mine medium. Should we get some red wine to drink? I prefer white wine, if that's okay. Red wine's too sweet. All right, let's get white. Can I have the recipe? Dialogue. Wow, this dish is great, Christopher. Thanks, Isabel. Do you really like it? You bet. What's it made of? There's carrots, broccoli, asparagus, and vinegar. And I mixed in some basil and chopped nuts. It's delicious. Can I have the recipe? Sure. I'll write it down for you. It's really simple. How long did you cook it for? Only 20 minutes. Short Conversations You will hear two dialogues. Listen carefully. Dialogue 1 Okay, we've got broccoli, asparagus, and vinegar. What else do we need? Let me see the recipe again. Oh, yeah, we need a half cup of soy sauce. Here you go. Do we have any sesame seeds? I think so, if I can find them. Yeah, here they are. Great. Do we need any more ingredients? Well, you want it mild, medium, or spicy? Um, I like it medium. Okay, then let's add a couple of red peppers. They're in the fridge. Dialogue 2 Are you ready to order? Yes, I'd like a New York steak, medium well. New York steak, very good. And you, sir? I'll have a T-bone. Well done. And a chef salad. All right.
right. Would you like something to drink? Could I have a glass of red wine, please? Certainly. And you? I would like a beer. Unit Five, Time. What's today's date? Dialogue. What's today's date? It's August tenth. Uh oh, I forgot to send a birthday card to my sister. When's her birthday? It's on the twelfth. Oh, that's soon. You should send it today. What time does the post office close today? I think it closes at noon. What? Why does it close so early? Probably because it's Saturday. Oh yeah. Well, it's too late then. But it's only eleven forty-five. I know, but it takes thirty minutes to get to the post office from here. What time is it? Dialogue. What time is it? It's almost five. Great! It's almost time to go home. Why don't we go get some dinner? I'd love to, but I still have some work to finish. How much longer do you think it'll take? Probably a few more hours. Really? Okay then. How about tomorrow? Sure, that's fine. I'll be free any time after four. Let's meet at five then. What time did you go to bed? Dialogue. Hi, Terence. Wow, you look really tired. Yeah, I am. I hardly got any sleep last night. What time did you go to bed? Around six in the morning. Then I got up at nine. Why? Did you have trouble falling asleep? No, I had to finish the paper for history class. You wrote it all last night. Yes, it took about five hours to finish it. Well, it's good you wanted to finish it early, I guess. Wait a second, isn't it due today? Um, no, it's due next week on May fifth. Oh no. How long does it take to get there? Dialogue. I'm going on a ski trip with some friends. Would you like to come too? Maybe. How long is the trip going to be? We'll be gone for five days. Sounds good. How are you going to get there? We're traveling by bus. It's a lot cheaper than flying. How long does it take to get there? It is kind of long. It takes one full day. So we'll need two days just for traveling. That's right. Hmm. Let me think about it. Short conversations. You will hear two dialogues. Listen carefully. Dialogue one. Isn't your birthday coming up soon? It sure is. How'd you know? Your sister told me. When is it exactly? The eighteenth. It's tomorrow. I thought so, but I wasn't sure. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. Don't worry about it. Are you planning anything special? Yeah, I'm having a party at my house. Would you like to come? When is it? I have to work until seven tomorrow. It starts at nine. Great! I'll see you there. Dialogue two. Hey Sarah, you know what? My parents are coming into town tomorrow. That's great, Sam. Would you like to meet them? We can go to dinner together. 
That's a great idea, but I don't think I can make it. Why not? I thought you finished work early on Fridays. Actually, this time I have to go to a meeting. Well, we can go after your meeting. When is it going to finish? I'm not sure, but I think it's going to finish really late. Oh, well, maybe next time. Unit 6 Directions Excuse me, could you help me? Dialogue Excuse me, could you help me? Sure, what can I do for you? I'm looking for the Miners Theater. That's on the corner of 5th and Main. Is it far from here? No. Go straight down this road for three blocks. Okay. Then turn left at the intersection onto 5th Street. Left at the intersection onto 5th? Yes. The theater will be one block down on the right. Go three blocks and turn left, then one block down? That's right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Does this bus go to Seoul Station? Dialogue. Does this bus go to Seoul Station? No, it doesn't. It goes to Chail University. Do you know which bus goes to Seoul Station? The number 12 bus, I think. How far is it from here to the station? It's about two kilometers. Is the station far from the airport? Not very far. About five kilometers, I think. I see. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Is there a parking lot near here? Dialogue. Excuse me. Yes. Is there a parking lot near here? Yes, there is. It's on 2nd Avenue. Could you give me directions, please? Sure. Turn right at the first intersection. It's on the left. On the left. How far down? About a block. It's opposite the park. Okay. Thanks a lot. No problem. Is it far from here? Dialogue. Excuse me, how can I get downtown from here? You could go by bus or by taxi. Is it far from here? Yes, a bit far. It's about 10 kilometers. How often do the buses run? Do you know? Yes, every 15 minutes. How long does it take? About 20 minutes by bus. Where's the nearest bus stop? It's one block down on Bell Street. Short Conversations You will hear two dialogues. Listen carefully. Dialogue 1 Hi, Paul. How was your trip? Horrible. I got lost downtown and missed the meeting. What happened? Well, I thought the convention center was on Pine Street. Oh, no, it's on Pike. Yeah, but I found that out too late. Didn't you get directions before you left? Yes, but I wrote Pine instead of Pike. Did you finally find the convention center? Yes, but the meeting was over. Dialogue 2. Hello, this is John speaking. Hi, John. This is Heidi. I was wondering if you could do me a favor? Sure, Heidi. I'd be glad to. I'm looking for a hotel near the Boston airport. 
Um, the red dot is a five star hotel. How far is it from the airport? Not far at all. It's practically right next door. Unit 7. Travel. What did you think of the city? Dialogue. How was your trip? It was great. Where did you go? I went to Singapore for the weekend. That sounds fun. What did you do? I did a lot of sightseeing. How was the food? I loved it. I tried something different every night. What was the weather like? It was really hot. I should have taken more shorts. What did you think of the city? Oh, it's clean and modern. The beaches are beautiful. Have you gone there before? No, this was my first time. How was your trip to Canada? Dialogue. Hi, how was your trip to Canada? It was terrific. I really enjoyed it. Great. How long were you gone? I was there for about six months. That's a long time. Was the weather okay? Yes, most of the time. What was the best thing about your trip? Oh, that's difficult to say. But I guess I liked the Rocky Mountains the best. How did you spend last weekend? Dialogue. How did you spend last weekend, Ken? I went for a drive in the country on Sunday. That sounds nice. Where did you go? I drove along the coast to Busan. I had a great time. How about you? Did you do anything special? Not really. I just worked on my term paper. That's too bad. Maybe we can do something together next weekend. I'd like to book a flight. Dialogue. Transnational Airlines, may I help you? Yes, I'd like to book a flight to Los Angeles for this Saturday. What time would you like to leave? Could you tell me when the earliest flight leaves? The earliest flight is at 7 in the morning. Oh, I see. Can I reserve a seat? Yes. Would you like economy or first class? Economy, please. Short conversations. You will hear two dialogues. Listen carefully. Dialogue 1. I heard that Diane is going to Paris next month. Yeah, lucky girl. I wish I could go with her. Me too. I'm lucky if I can afford to see a movie. Have you ever been out of the country? Nope. Have you? I went to Mexico one time, to Cabo San Lucas. What was that like? Oh, it was so great. Warm sun, sandy beaches. I miss it. Man, I never get to go anywhere. Dialogue 2 Hello, Eagle Airlines. Spencer speaking. Yes, I'd like to book a flight to Madrid for the 16th. Madrid on the 16th. Hmm. Which flight would you like? The earliest one, please. That leaves at 5 45 a.m. Okay. Can I reserve a seat? First class or economy? <music> Unit 8 Weather 
Did you hear the weather report? Dialogue. What's the weather like? It's still raining, dark and cloudy. Did you hear the weather report? Yes, they said it won't clear up until tomorrow. That's too bad. I don't like rainy days. Really? Why not? I think they're boring. There's nothing to do. So, what kind of weather do you like? Warm and sunny, of course. That's okay, but I hate hot and humid weather. Me too. That's almost as bad as rain. So, do you want to go out? No, let's just stay home and watch TV. That's a good way to spend a rainy day. It's a beautiful day. Dialogue The weather is so nice today. Yeah, there's hardly a cloud in the sky. Even though it's sunny, it's really mild, too. And there's only a slight breeze. It's been so rainy this week. I'm glad it's finally cleared up. Me too. This is perfect weather for going outside. Right. It might not be so bright and clear tomorrow. I'd love to go swimming or just take a walk. It's too bad we have to stay inside. Oh, well, time to get back to work. What's it like outside? Dialogue. Are you ready to go? Yes, almost. By the way, what's it like outside? It looks pretty overcast. What's the temperature? I'll check the thermometer. It says 85 degrees. I didn't realize it was that warm. I'd better take off this sweater. We should probably bring umbrellas, too. Did the weather report say it was going to rain? I didn't hear it. It's really cloudy, though. Okay. Better safe than sorry. We can expect snow tomorrow. Dialogue are you looking forward to winter break? Of course. I can't wait to go skiing. Me too. I hope there's going to be enough snow. I heard it's supposed to get a lot colder next week. Really? How long is it supposed to last? The weather report said that it would stay below freezing for a few weeks. That's good news. There'll definitely be a lot of snow. Don't be too excited. You never know how the weather will turn out. Short Conversations You will hear two dialogues. Listen carefully. Dialogue 1 The weather's going to be bad this summer. Why? What's it going to be like? First of all, it's going to be much hotter than usual. That doesn't sound very good. Yes, and there's also going to be a lot of rain. Really? That's going to make it really humid, won't it? Right, and it's probably going to last until October. That sounds almost as bad as last year. It might even stay above 100 degrees for a month. Looks like I'd better fix my air conditioner. Dialogue 2 It's freezing today. I know. It must be below zero outside. And it's so overcast. Nothing but gray clouds. Yeah, it seems like it's been this way for weeks. It would be nice if it would snow, but there's been nothing so far. Well, what about today? I don't know. I didn't hear the weather report. <music> Unit 9. Leisure Have you ever come out here before? 
Dialogue. It's such a beautiful day today. Yes, I'm glad we have some free time to enjoy it. Have you ever come out here before? Sure, I come to the lake a lot. Really? How often? Usually twice a month if I have time. Wow, you must really like boating. That's right. I enjoy it very much. It's so relaxing. I agree. Actually, this is my first time to go boating here. What? You mean you've never come here before? No, never. I think I've only gone boating three times in my life. Well, I hope you know how to swim. Don't worry. I'm an excellent swimmer. Good. Then you can save me if I fall in. You're joking, right? You must be a great swimmer too. The truth is, I'm just a beginner. How do you spend your spare time? Dialogue. What do you usually do in your spare time, Keith? Oh, I probably read more than anything else. What sorts of things do you like to read? All kinds, but I really like novels. Who's your favorite novelist? I think Hemingway is the best. I like him too. Which of his books have you read? I've read A Farewell to Arms and For Whom the Bell Tolls. They're great. Where are you going to go for your vacation? Dialogue. Hi, Jack. It's been a while. What are you up to? Not much. What have you been doing? Nothing special. Do you have any plans for the holidays? Yeah, but it's a secret. Come on, tell me. Where are you going to go for your vacation? Okay, okay. I might go to England. My sister lives there. Really? How exciting! How often do you go swimming? Dialogue. Hey Ben, what happened? I was looking for you all afternoon. Oh, sorry. I must have been at the pool. Really? I didn't know you were swimming these days. Yeah, I'm swimming three times a week. I really like it. Are you going tomorrow too? No, I don't have any plans. Well, why don't we play tennis? I really need to practice. Sure, that sounds fine. Short conversations. You will hear two dialogues. Listen carefully. Dialogue one. What do you feel like doing this weekend? How about going to the river park? Hey, that's a good idea. We haven't been there in a while. Yeah, if the weather's nice, we can hike or ride our bikes on the trail. I'll bring some food so we can have a picnic. Now you're talking. Then again, what if it rains? Well, if it rains, I guess we can go to the new art museum. That sounds boring. Why don't we go to karaoke instead? In the afternoon. Dialogue two. How was your trip to Hawaii? It was wonderful. I had a great time. What was the weather like? It was sunny most of the time, but it rained occasionally. What did you do while you were there? A lot. I spent one week sightseeing in Honolulu and the Volcanoes National Park. Volcanoes! You're pretty adventurous. Did you go to the beach too? Of course. I went surfing every day. I also went hiking and rented a motorbike. Do you think you'll ever go there again? Sure. 
I hope I can see all of the islands someday. Unit 10. Are you good at it? Dialogue. Wow, Jim, you look really tired. Yeah, I've been exercising a lot these days. Really? When did you start? Just a few weeks ago. I'm still not used to it. What exactly are you doing? I joined a wrestling club. Huh? I didn't know you liked wrestling. Actually, I like it a lot. It's a lot more fun than other sports I've done. Are you good at it? No, I'm really terrible. I always lose. Well, you've just started after all. How often do you practice? I try to go three times a week. That's a lot. I can see why you're tired. Why don't you try too? You might enjoy it. Oh, no. I hate fighting sports. I'd much rather play tennis. Maybe I should try that next. What's your favorite sport? Dialogue. What's your favorite sport, Trevor? I'd have to say fishing. Fishing? Um, isn't that sort of boring? Not to me. I think it's peaceful and relaxing. I guess you don't like active sports very much. Well, actually, I like watching them, just not playing them. I see. Anyway, are you good at fishing? Sure. I usually catch at least five fish. What do you do with them? I eat them, of course. Let's go see a soccer game. Dialogue. Why don't we do something this weekend? What do you suggest? Let's go see a soccer game. I don't like soccer very much. There's not enough action. Well, do you know if there are any other games? There's a baseball game in the park every Saturday night. Hmm, baseball's okay. Actually, I love baseball. I used to watch it once a month at least. I'm glad you like something. Let's go then. How often do you exercise? Dialogue. You look pretty healthy, Cat. Do you do any sports? I've practiced Taekwondo for a few years. I had no idea. So, you like martial arts? Not really. I just like Taekwondo because it's fun and safe. How often do you practice? These days I'm practicing four times a week. Wow, that sounds like hard work. Why do you train so much? There's a tournament coming soon, and I want to do as well as I can. You must be really good by now. I guess so. I got second place in the last tournament anyway. That's great. Just don't kick me. Short Conversations You will hear two dialogues. Listen carefully. Dialogue 1. What sport are you best at? That would probably be fencing. I had no idea. When did you start? My parents started me in a fencing class when I was 10. You must have practiced a lot. Well, I had to. My coach was really strict. How often did you practice? Six days a week. My coach wanted me to go to the Olympics. Why didn't you? You must have been good enough. Maybe I was, but the truth is, I didn't enjoy it very much. Dialogue 2 Are you ready? Of course. 
You're definitely going to lose this time. Why do you think that? I'm still much better than you. But I've been practicing a lot. Two hours a day. It doesn't matter how much you practice. I'm still better. I'm sure you're going to miss every swing. It doesn't matter how hard you hit the ball. I can still run faster. Well, the court's open now. Let's find out. Unit 11 Health Are you okay? Dialogue Hey, Tyrone. Your nose is all red. Are you okay? I have bad allergies. They've been bothering me all week. I'm sorry to hear that. What are your symptoms? My nose is really ruddy, and I've got a terrible headache that won't go away. That sounds pretty bad. Did you take any medicine? I did, but it hasn't helped. Actually, it seems like it's getting worse. You'd better go see a doctor. I don't know. Maybe it'll get better soon. Even if it's nothing serious, you should still have it checked out. You're probably right. Can you recommend a doctor? Mine is pretty good. I can give you his number. Thanks. Do I need to make an appointment? Of course. Just call the office and a nurse will set it up for you. I guess I need to do that as soon as possible. I hope you feel better soon. How's your cold? Dialogue. Hi, Robert. How's your cold? <coughs> oh, hi, Karen. <coughs> it's better, but now I've got this cough. I'm sorry to hear that. Have you had it long? <coughs> yeah, it's lasted for two weeks. I'm really sick of it. Are you taking anything? Just some regular cough medicine. But it doesn't help much. <coughs> My throat is still really sore. Why don't you try drinking hot water with honey? It works pretty well for me. I've never had that. <coughs> I'll try it and see what happens. I'm sure you'll be better soon. I think I've got the flu. Dialogue. May I help you? Yes, I think I've got the flu. What are your symptoms? Well, I'm really sore, I have a lot of congestion, and a high fever. I'm not coughing or sneezing, though. You need some extra-strength flu medicine. How much should I take? Two tablets every six hours is enough. You shouldn't take more than that. Should I do anything else? Get plenty of rest and drink a lot of fluids. If your flu doesn't clear up in a week, you'd better see a doctor. Thanks for your help. Why don't you tell me what's wrong? Dialogue. Why don't you tell me what's wrong? Oh, my stomach is killing me. Is there anything else? I have really bad indigestion, too. It's awful. Hmm. When did it start? Early this morning after I got up. It's gotten worse since then. Did you eat or drink anything unusual last night? Well, it was my birthday, so I ate a lot of cake and other stuff. That's probably the reason. Overeating usually causes those symptoms. But it's never made me feel this bad before. I understand. It's just a sign that you're getting older. Short Conversations You will hear two dialogues. Listen carefully. 
Dialogue 1 Honey, how did the appointment with the doctor go? Okay, I guess. Did he find out anything besides your sore throat? Yeah, he told me that my glands were swollen. Did you tell him that you had a hard time swallowing? Yes, he did a test to find out whether or not it's a viral infection. Does that mean you need to see him again? Uh-huh. I'll have to go back on Wednesday. Dialogue 2 This is such a long flight. I'm really starting to feel uncomfortable. Have you had a chance to stand up and walk around? No, it's not easy to get up when you're in the middle seat. That's true, but you should get up anyway. Stretching your legs will help a lot. You're probably right. Even a little movement would help. It'll definitely help the circulation in your legs. Okay, I'll go walk for a little while. I just hope we land soon. Unit 12. Interviewing and Working Can you spell your last name for me? Dialogue What's your name? My name is Samuel Guetta. Can you spell your last name for me? It's G-E-T-T-A. You're applying for a position in our IT department. What kinds of skills do you have? I'm trained to set up and maintain computer networks. Why do you want to work for us? I'd like an opportunity to work for a large company. Are you willing to travel? Yes, ma'am. When can you start? I can start in two weeks after I give notice at my current job. Okay. We'll contact you next week, Mr. Geta. Thank you for your time. Thanks. When can you start? Dialogue Can you tell me about yourself? Yes. My name is Liz Williams. I'm 23 years old. I graduated from Indiana University last year. My major was music, and I specialized in piano. I received the first prize at a major music contest in Indiana two years ago. That's very impressive. Do you have any teaching experience? Yes. I've been a private piano teacher for three years. When can you start? I can start any time. How do you like it here? Dialogue. You're new here, aren't you? Yes, I just started last month. So, how do you like it here so far? It's great. Everybody's pretty friendly, and I like having a flexible schedule. What did you do before you started here? I was working in a printing shop. What made you decide to change jobs? I had to commute an hour every day, so I wanted something closer to home. So how long does it take to get to work now? It's only five minutes by motorbike. I'd like to take some time off. Dialogue Excuse me, Ms. Yang? Oh, hi, Paul. Do you have a moment? Sure, come on in. Sit down. What is it? Would it be possible for me to take a couple of days off next month? Is everything okay? Oh, yes. It's just that my sister's getting married, and I have to go out of town for the wedding. Will you be able to get all your work done? It's going to be a busy month. Yes, ma'am. I'll get everything finished on time. Okay, that should be no problem. Just remember to fill out the leave request form. Thanks, Ms. Yang. Short Conversations
You will hear two dialogues. Listen carefully. Dialogue 1 Ms. Moore, can you tell me about your education? I graduated from the University of Chicago in 1996. What did you major in? Computer science. Are you currently employed? Yes, I've been a graphic designer at Moon Communications since 2005. And why are you interested in working at our company? I'm very interested in photography and travel, and working for your magazine would allow me to pursue both of those interests. Well, let me tell you some things you'll need to know if you're hired. Dialogue 2 Hey, Martin, how did your job interview go? I'm not sure, but I don't think I got the job. That's too bad. What happened? I don't have enough experience with cooking. Well, maybe they have another position available. They also need a delivery driver, but I can't drive. Maybe you can do customer service. I could, but they need somebody who can work every day. Don't worry about it. I'm sure you'll find something soon. I sure hope so. I'm tired of not having any money. <laughs>